Right, a small video. I just thought I'd have a little wander around a tennis court at uh, Foxton and then I noticed this path and it's got footpaths, public bridle path. It doesn't tell you where it's going though. You can also go through this gate. It's sort of pointing that way. So I'm wondering if where those trees are, if there's a path down there that would take you to either Kilv, I reckon there's the wood to the East Quantock head down. I reckon that might be Kilv there. You'd have to cross the A38 though. You'd have to cross that. And that, that, that that's something I'm going to explore another time. This is it. I've been coming here for a few years, but I've never explored around the back here before. Because at the back there, you see, you've got back of the walled garden there, and then you've got old fox and house, and the old barns. So there's a lot of history here, a lot more, more than I really knew. It takes a while sometimes. If someone cuts back a few bushes, opens up a pathway. We should say it was something like that, you never knew there was a pathway there. Then they cut all that down. And that's what looks like what's happened here. But it looks well used by horses, so it could be a local farm up there. Very well used by horses. You'd have to ask somebody on a horse, wouldn't you? Where does it go? Where does it lead down to? Because that could be a nice walk to Kilf. See, there's the back of the uh, the lovely walled garden. Look at those lovely tiles. Still looks in good condition, doesn't it? So I just did a small deviation there. And I did know that there was a footpath. I never really knew where it went. I still don't. I'd have to get my big map out now. I want to get home. Check this path out. I can't remember passing this on the way by either. Yeah, and this is off the back of the walled garden, see? At Old Foxton. I always find to seem to find something when it's near the end of me walk. And I, I've got to get back and all that, you know. Or I'm running out of film or something. Or the weather's changing, because that's all the back of the... Up here, let's just get up here a minute. See, look, this is all back of the walled garden there. See? Oh, I can hear a lot of buzzing, so I don't won't, won't go too far in there. And there's this, well, there's a lot of, look at the beautiful trees, such a variety of tree. You can tell this is residential of a sort, a mansion. Now you can go through that gate there and go across the field, but I'm not going to do that today. I know where that comes out. That'll come out by the cattle grid, just around the corner there. I've never done it before. That's something I will keep. So I've often wondered if I can get to Kilf from Holford. So here we have got different views, you see, of the back of the the barns and the wood garden and that great big tree up red pine tree and there's the little chapel there on the end look. and the old barn and the gate will be going into the garden there it does look like it's had a bit of a tidy I must admit anyway we've got plenty we've got all summer and well all year to explore but look at that lovely tree it's massive isn't it I've taken photos and there we've got the old tennis court there, which I've taken pictures of. That wouldn't... Well, tennis was in around when Henry VIII was about in the 15th century. So it could have been... Wordsworth could have played tennis. Who knows? Could have been an old court once. But look at that tree. That is a big tree. Hello, big tree. You're gorgeous, aren't you? I went to Schoon Palace, you know, and they've got all sorts of um, cousins of yours up there. Yeah. Hello. Hello, tree. Hello. Yeah, you look a bit manky, your uh, cones for picking up at the moment. 
and they are very similar. And well, I don't know what this is, if this would be an old well. Could have been, could have been a well here, if you know what I mean. Or is it a type of rockery? I've never noticed this before, you see. Someone has stripped it back, but is it an old well or just a rockery? So over there we got Wordsworth's old house. I mean, he didn't stay there for long and he was renting. But it doesn't matter, he was an important poet. Imagine if Bowie had stayed there. My goodness, we would all like me. He might have done. It did used to be a hotel. You know, how do we know David Bowie didn't have one of his getaways? You know? Could have done, couldn't he? He, he could have done anything, David Bowie. Anyway, I'm getting carried away now. But look at these lovely trees lining. I think someone has been round with a lawnmower, you know. This has been tidied up. They just need to do the house. They need to do something with it and they'll pull it without pulling it down. I'd come and stay there if they'd done it up. I'll have a night there. Breakfast in bed, or two nights. What would be even better if they put camping facilities here? I could bring Alberta or even a tent. So we'll be coming down to the cattle grid in a minute. And for all I know, they might have even done that up. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at these blossom on these trees. Oh, you can smell it. They almost look like apple trees, don't they? Hello, tree. You're pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, this. Home to the deer. I'm going to turn off for a minute. Take some pictures.